In this video, we're going to learn about the greatest common divisor function in C++. So C++ actually has a built-in greatest common divisor function that finds the greatest common divisor of two integers. So let's remind ourselves what the greatest common divisor is. A divisor is a number that divides another number with no remainder. So in the case of 20 here, 20, 10, 5, 4, 2, and 1, they're all divisors of 20. If we take 20 and we divide it by any of these numbers, we get back no remainder. 12 has the divisors 12, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And the greatest common divisor of these two numbers is 4. The built-in greatest common divisor function allows us to find this divisor for two integers. So to use it, all we have to do is include numeric. And then we call the function by saying gcd and passing in the two integers. We could say 20 and 12, for example. And we'll store the result that's returned into a variable called divisor. And we'll output the divisor here to make sure that it's four. So we'll say divisor followed by an end line. And if we save our program and compile it and run it, we get back a divisor of four, which is correct. Now there's different versions of C++. This is how the function is called in the C++ 17 version and on. In the prior C++ 14 version, we call the function by using two underscores as a prefix. And instead of numeric, we would actually include the algorithm library. Now, one thing about this function is we have to pass in integers. We can't pass in a double. So for example, if I say 12.0 here, which is a double, if we try to save it and run it, we'll get build failed. We get a compilation error. So we can't do that. Both arguments do actually need to be integers. So this is how we can use the built-in greatest common divisor function in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.